If your MacBook looks like this, or you are a new MacBook user, then this is the video for you. I will show you the cleanest looking Mac setup that promotes book productivity and organization. Once you've implemented changes from this video, your Mac will feel new and refreshing every time you engage in your tasks. Okay, so to start off, let's drag out the apps that you do not use on a daily basis. Instead, I'll use Spotlight Search or the Launchpad to access my other applications. In the desktop and dock settings, I make sure the suggested app switch is turned off to reduce the amount of apps in my dock. While we're still in the desktop and dock settings, you can switch on automatically hide and show the dock for a cleaner look and more screen real estate. I've also decreased the size of my dock and set the magnification to about 65%. It makes my MacBook feel more responsive and lively. The desktop can be quite unpleasant to look at. In the finder settings, check off hard disk and external disk to remove the icons on the desktop. Going back to the desktop and dock settings, you can check off show items on desktop for a cleaner aesthetic. To finish off the desktop and dock section, let's add a clean wallpaper. I recently started to use custom live wallpapers. You have two applications to choose from, Dynamic Wallpaper Engine and iWallpaper. I personally use Dynamic Wallpaper Engine, which has an upfront cost of 6 euros. iWallpaper on the other hand can be downloaded for free, but your wallpapers will have a watermark unless you pay 6 euros to remove it. My MacBook goes to the screensaver mode pretty often. That is why I downloaded the cleanest screensaver for the Mac, the Flip Clock. You do have to go to the official website to download it, but it's totally worth it. Just check this out. Now let's enter the finder, where all of the file management takes place. It's best to manage your files early on before it's too late. In the finder settings, remove all of the items from the sidebar that you deem unnecessary. Now go onto this tab, delete or hide all of the tags. You can always create your own tags for quick access to important folders. For example, I've created an editing tag so that I can quickly access my short and long form video folders. Alternatively, you can drag your most used folders into the sidebar so that you can access them in one click. Let's talk about these big icons. Now you don't need them to be that big. I've changed my icon view to a list view as it provides more valuable information like the file size, file type and the date. I have the show preview option enabled in the finder settings so that I can have a quick glance at a photo or video without clicking into it. I don't like the idea of MacBook notifications as it is another form of distraction that you simply do not need especially when I already have a phone that pings notifications. Therefore, I have most of my notifications turned off in the settings. If you often hook your laptop to an external monitor for more screen real estate, then Amphetamine is the app for you. Amphetamine keeps your MacBook awake, meaning if you are connected to an external monitor, you can close the lid and the laptop will not enter sleep mode, allowing you to work off your monitor. Haze Over automatically hides the front window by fading out all of the background windows. This allows you to focus on the work at hand without being distracted by the background apps that can cause you to lose focus. Dozer is a free open source app for hiding the menu bar icons. It is very easy to use and it is a great tool to help with decluttering. You can hide and unhide the menu bar icons with a press of a button. I will have the link to all of these apps in the description below. Arc is my browser of choice. This productivity first browser is both minimal and clean. Arc uses a sidebar for neater tab management and I personally think it's much better than the traditional top tab browsers. You can separate your personal and work tabs with spaces. I have spaces for general use, work, content creation, and language learning. Arc has a ton of features and I've already uploaded a video on it. Give it a watch if you're interested. Anyway, that is all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If I missed any tips, please share it in the comment section below.